What's good, guys? This is video number eight in the series that I'm doing on the Justice for Pinky Instagram page, which is ran by her mother, April Savoy. Um, I left off in part seven where they're at the protest, so I'm going to pick up from there. I try to make these as short as possible because I know attention spans aren't what they probably should be. Um, Calicia, spelt with a K, Pinky Williams, was shot inside the Hyatt Regency Hotel on Peachtree in downtown Atlanta on December the 26th. I'm going to go ahead and play this video so that we can get started. I love you so far. We're not safe here. You're not safe here. A 16 year old girl got killed here. You're not safe. If you have your pistol, they let you go in with your pistol. Take your gun with you because this teenager that's bothering you in here. You're not safe here. A 16 year old girl got killed in here. Day after Christmas. They're, they don't have no cameras for you. They're not saving y'all at all. You're not safe here. No security after No security. She want to stay right here for a minute, y'all. She want to stay here. She want to stay right there. She just stand, y'all. She don't want to go. We got you, Pinky. We got you forever, baby. Go on the fly house. Fly. Fly, girl. Go. Your mama got you, girl.
And I finally checked it and saw it. Mm-hmm. But she, she, her, and another witness was the only one in the lobby area with Pinky. They performed CPR on her, and you know, did everything they could. They said that it took the um, police probably about she fifteen to twenty minutes to get there. <clears throat> and they said she was laying in the lobby area, but I spoke with the girl. Hey. And I asked her why did they move her body. And she said because she was losing a lot of blood. But from the video, she didn't even have no blood on her. It was internal bleeding. So, you know, there was another lie that was told. workers there. She said the hotel workers didn't come out until the police got there. That's when everybody came out. She said, but until then wasn't nobody there but her and that lady. And she said your daughter kept gasping for air, opening her mouth up 
we kept performing CPR, and that and, and I told that lady I wanted to meet her, but she was in Greenville, North Carolina. She came up for the Christmas holidays to stay at the hotel for two days. And for somebody to perform CPR on your daughter during this COVID-19, like, I wanted to just thank her and give her a hug. Because she didn't even have to do that. Most people be like, the coronavirus, I'm not doing, you know. And she stood by her side. She prayed over her. She held her hand. And she knew and she said she saw those kids get back on the elevator and go back upstairs. She said once she realized what they was doing, she said that's when the girl said, um, what's the name of this hotel? How you not going to know the name of the hotel and you book this room for a party here? You and your mom. Yeah, they all need to be well, they trying to pick it, then trying to throw it under the bus. They and they done went to the get the toe. They're trying to make it look like on some other shit. I'm going to do that for you, April. I'm going to find out. Hey, I promise you. I'm going to uh, let Tay Tay know. I'm going to find out because I work at the hotel, a five star hotel. They got a camera on. They lying. Yeah. Every five star. I work at the Marriott. That's what I'm trying to tell them. They lying. Every hotel. Got a camera on. They got cameras. They ain't going to tell you they ain't got cameras. Exactly. Yeah, so what are you coming around here for? This don't yeah, work. Yeah, I don't know. No, yes, they do. They just don't have them on the elevator. They got them on the elevator. They got them on the floor. You got to see them. They lie. They got to go down. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Steve to help her by uh, the cameras. Oh. They got camera. They got a camera on. So I got Steve. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. I call you. I make sure tomorrow. I'm gonna make sure you. Steve gonna let you know. He gonna Like that. 
He said, what he on about? Oh, my God. Well, baby, I should tell you the day after I know what you're doing. You ain't got your hands on you. Put your clothes on you. It's on you. And you find that you can do. Right, you just got one round. Come on. We got the clean thing, y'all. They shot that. That's right, I'm going to hit that. Girl, here, here. Okay. Hot dick, dad. Hot dick. Why the hell you He got to turn this thing around. He'd be embarrassing if he get that. I don't know if this thing going to hit it. How you do that, my buddy? No, he's just embarrassing. He do that if I'm going to grocery store. If I'm going inside the store, he's falling out of my head. He fit to be sorry. Exactly. You about to be a big girl. Embarrassing. That man's gonna get hit three times. The moment somebody say, come in, he takes off. What he would got? Come on now. He's run too fast. We're trying to chase him down here. We go. I'm gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're Somebody got to go and say something. Just come on, Okay, so that was the protest. Excuse me. That's our son. Wishing him a happy birthday. That's Pinky in the back. He was asked that you could have that him. He think of it all OPP. I had to be the one to tell you. I seen him in here through a lesson. When he leave you, he gon' text me. No, thank you. Oh, I can't. What, what happened, happened to you? I lost my best friend. I'm sorry. Don't leave me. I want. She posted this on January 27th. Dear Pinky, your best friend is missing you like crazy. It's not a day that goes by that she is not sitting in your bedroom crying, missing you. When she heard the news, she immediately came over and I held her as if she was you. All she kept asking me was, Mom, what friend was Pinky with? 
I'm her only best friend. 105 comments. Forever pinky, broken hearts, crying emojis, praying hands. She posted this on January 27th. Her life matters. Rally for Calicia. January 27th at 12 p.m. Release the tapes. 226 Peachtree Street, Atlanta, Georgia, 3003. Hashtag release the tapes. Hashtag justice for Pinky. She also wrote, her life mattered. Hashtag justice for Pinky. 60 comments. hearts we love you pinky There she is with her new Jordans. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, has anybody else seen the coincidence with these shoes? Not the same shoes, but gray and white and Jordans. Same shoes Kanika Jenkins was wearing. Not the same ones exactly, same color. She posted this on January 28th. Dear Pinky, if only I could rewind back the time. I remember Christmas of 2019, like it was yesterday. You only wanted the new Jordans and, of course, an upgrade on your iPhone. I would do anything to grant your wishes and fulfill your dreams again, only to see that priceless smile on your face. You wasn't hard to please. Anything pink, you were satisfied with. You were solid and genuine. You was the outgoing brat in the house. You worked everyone in the household and if you didn't get your way you would always cry that was the way to me and all your siblings even the younger ones we miss you pinky hashtag justice for pinky 189 comments she was so pretty A 
lot of hearts. Justice for Pinky. That's Pinky on the right. Pinky on the left. Pinky. She posted these on January 29th. Dear Pinky, I want to thank God for sending all these people. I consider them angels in my direction to give me information about your death. All of my unanswered questions are being answered, Pinky. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Even after I receive justice, I will forever rep your name, baby. Mommy loves you so much, and I will do everything in my power to make sure you receive the justice you need. Hashtag justice for Pinky. Your name will be heard and forever live on. 111 comments. This person says she was my daughter's favorite. Gone too soon. Justice for Pinky. Sorry for your loss. Pink hearts everywhere. Justice for Pinky. She posted this on January the 29th. It says, Hi, I am sorry to reach out like this, but I am one of the doctors who took care of Calicia when she came to Grady. I have been trying to find the family of hers to reach out to and to answer any questions I can. She has been the hardest case I have had in residency, and I think about her all the time. I still feel traumatized by that day, and I can't imagine what all of her loved ones have been through. My name is, and she's redacted it out, and I am one of the emergency room residents at Emory slash Grady. If you need to verify, you all can find me on the Emory Emergency Medicine Residency website. If you know a way to reach out to her family, please let me know all my thoughts and prayers, and they signed their name and redacted it. She wrote, Dear Pinky, just when I think I can take a breather, I always find myself back at day one, and I relive that moment over again. Pinky, your spirit is working, and baby, I know you will not rest until you get justice. I know the type of daughter you were because I raised you, and your reputation meant everything to you. I always say you were different. I saw so much potential in you. I saw you talking to girls older than your age, telling them to stop hanging in the streets and go home. You always wanted me to talk to your friends and asking mom, can she please stay over because I don't want anything to happen to my friends. And I never turned you away. I know for a fact, baby, that your intentions was going to a Christmas sleepover and coming back home to your family. But the devil stepped in. I spoke with the doctor and Lord knows the information I received is tragic. I have to say you were strong, Pinky. Very, very strong. Hashtag justice for Pinky. 95 comments. Someone said, once you find out all the information, will you share it so we all know the truth? She's going to get justice. 
And Miss April says, most definitely. Hearts, praying hands, doves. This person says, my best friend. And then it has a broken heart beside of it. Sorry for your loss. Blessings. I think I'm going to end the video here because it's getting kind of lengthy, but I'll pick right back up where I left off. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.